Hello there, everybody. My name's Jennifer Johnson. I'm with the Audubon Society, and today we're going to do a little backyard birding. Well, my job is to help connect you to the birds and nature around you. And we're going to start today with a backyard bird count. The Audubon Society relies a lot on annual bird count days like our Christmas bird count um, and our annual migratory bird count day in May. But you don't have to wait for a special day. You can do birding right here, right now. So just a couple of things that you'll need to get started. You'll need paper and something to write with, a pair of binoculars, and a cell phone with the eBird app. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to set my timer, but well, before we do that, just a quick demo with the binoculars. When you're birding with binoculars, you find the bird first with your eyes, and then you pop up the binoculars to what you're looking at. So it's important to use your eyes first and then your tools. So on with our birding. I'm going to set my timer again for 15 minutes. Let's see. And I'm gonna press start. So I'm about at the halfway mark. So far I found a house sparrow, a ring-billed gull, robins, and a grackle. So far I have an equal number of robins and grackles. We've got about six more minutes left, so let's see what else we can find. I'm birding in the afternoon, but the optimal time is as early as possible. Alright, time's up. So, I saw a goldfinch right at the end and I heard it. I found three grackles, three robins, three ring-billed gulls, and five house sparrows. So I found the most house sparrows in 15 minutes. Once you have your list made out, it's time to use our app. eBird is made by the Cornell uh, Lab. And once I get it up, I go to Start Checklist. And I add the number that what I found. So I'll start with the house sparrow. Oh, now it's getting really exciting. I found five. And I found three ring built goals. So I'll just type that in. Ring, build, go.
here we go I found three of those and I would just continue adding birds that I found and that's it once I've entered all my birds that's the end of my list and I press done now that data goes into a large database for other birders and other scientists to use so Audubon and other nature organizations uses that data to figure out ways we can help the birds further so uh, any actions we need to take on climate change or any local environmental issues we use that data from eBird and that's the data that you are able to contribute to even from your own backyard so I want to say thank you so much and I hope to see you all again out in the field one day if you're looking for more information you can contact me at jennifer.johnson at audubon.org and you can also use the Audubon website to learn more about our climate change initiatives and ways you can help the birds. Have a good day.